Well, everybody, we are back here again. Second gen Longhorn project, back at it, trying to swap out the hood today. So we will see how that goes. What is up everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Really quick before we get into this video, I do want to let you guys know we are down to the last four days to enter to win our 1997 Chevy 1500 budget build. Let me show you this truck real quick. Every $5 is five entries to win it. Here's the truck, it's a 1997 Chevy 1500. We did the dual exhaust system on it, six inch lift kit, 35 by 1250s, Pro Comp steel wheels, tow mirrors, Got to rip off the mud flaps because they rub on the mud flaps. Good amount of stance for the setup that we went with. New headlights, LEDs in them. You can see the LEDs in there. The thing is just a killer, killer, super reliable little gas truck. Every five dollars, five entries to win it. Information is in the description below. Get in while you can. We got the babe here, burning boxes. The diesel babe, yeah. You can see all these boxes we got to burn in here. Check this out. Come here. What? No, well, like... <laughs> yeah. We can't burn those in that little pit. No, we gotta tear them up. There's actually a hood in this one. You didn't even look at the hood, did you? Uh, I think I thought it picked it out. Uh, I mean, you might have helped me pick it out, but you didn't see it in here. I might need your help to get it out. So, like, Dad? Kinda. I don't think it's. I don't think it's got that middle. Part I don't think up. it's the exact same, but. I don't think it has. It's this similar. It's, it's similar, it's a two inch, but other than that, the actual design itself is different. The plan is gonna be to get the hood off this truck. This hood is pretty much trash. It doesn't open right, it doesn't close right. It's got these dents on both sides, like a big crinkle, where I think, and somebody else in the comments said it first, and I didn't even think about it until he said it, hood probably flew open, smacked the windshield, and it probably folded that back there. And, and it happened to Dad, that's why he had to get a whole new hood in. The latches. Anyways, that's gonna be the goal for this truck today is to get the hood on it, possibly start on some other stuff, but let's just see how far we can get with that first before I go making any promises. Hood is off. Latches are junk. So we're gonna get these latches off, swap them out, and then I'll have you help me put the new hood on. You see the mirror? It's not bent. It's bent you forward. Look at that. You don't see it's bent forward. No. Nah. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, side loose power. I didn't know they went I I didn't know that, I just didn't tell you. Like where the heck should I really even start? I got sockets I'm trying to find in the dark. Your truck has rust all over it. What? See the orange all over the hood? Oh, yeah, I see dark. Probably from this thing. Yeah, because when I sanded the frame, I took the airbrush, it went <laughs> You ball! <laughs> We got our new hinges. They're bright red. Okay. Took them off resin. No. What I'm trying to decide, I think it'll be fine because the color that I'm gonna go with on this truck is gonna be dark cherry metallic. <laughs> of course you are. I'm kidding. No, I'm probably gonna do like a bright red metallic so that these don't look too bad. But I'm probably gonna have them paint this inside the hood there anyway. That's definitely backwards. <laughs> what? Not the right side. <laughs> Guys, do not tell your wife hey, go put the hinges on my truck. The hood's, the hood's gonna close that way. I was looking at it. I'm sure you were. I pulled it up for you. Scratch it. Look up, you gotta put it in the hole. Oh my gosh. Why is it Wait, is this still the Oh fam. It just keeps getting better and better. So we were working on trying to install the hood 
And as you saw in that clip where it wasn't working, it's because it was working. And let's just kind of clear this up because I kind of feel dumb a little bit and also kind of feel like it was their fault a little bit. It's my fault and their fault in, in the same way. When I went to their website, you know how when you punch in your truck, the year, make, model, all that stuff, pretty much you will only find parts, whether it's body parts, bumpers, this, that, and the other, whatever. You pretty much will only find parts that will fit your truck, like specific to your truck. That's all they're gonna show you because they don't want you mixing stuff up with other models and this and that, so you don't buy something that you have to ship back. Well, when I went to the cow hood section, this is where it gets funny. It's like the only section that I found, at least under the search for you know this truck right here, that when I typed in cow hood and it was just kind of like a tab I clicked on after I punched in you know the year make and model of my truck, I was like, okay, these must pretty much be all for this truck. Well, when you look at the hood model numbers, it tells you the model numbers so you can find what style hood you like. So I'm thinking about, I, I don't know why, but I just blanked. I was just looking for the model number to the hood that I liked in the picture. I saw that hood, I'm like, I like that one, here's the model number, I just scrolled down until I saw it, add to cart, and purchase. But what I didn't realize is that in the Cal Hood section, even though you typed in all your information only see results for your truck, there's one style of cow hood you can get, and that is it. Then there's three other styles that you can only get for 02, it says, to 08 trucks. Well, to be specific, 02 and a half or whatever, you know, to 08 third gens. Well, when I got this truck, didn't even realize until we tried to put it on the truck, and I look at the box, it says 02 to 08, Ram 1500, 2500, 3500, and 03 to 09, um, you know, all the 2500 3500 so freaking annoying i hate shipping stuff back i'm like the one person that never ever 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 ships stuff back i cannot stand having to repackage stuff up call the company wait on a label wait on somebody to come get it wait on the refund then take the refund then buy another part like i i just cannot stand that crap it is just so annoying to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually just gonna sell the hood so if anybody's interested 450 or best offer and you can have it it's a brand spanking new hood and there's nothing more than fingerprints on it. We tried to, we held it over the hinges and once I realized, I'm like, there's no way this is gonna fit, we just set it down. So we're gonna box it back up with the styrofoam, put it back in there and it's gonna be waiting for somebody to come pick it up. I paid 550 for the hood, plus I think it was like $125 for shipping freight. If somebody's within the Fort Wayne area or not too far and they wanna come buy this thing for 450 or best offer, come and get it. It's yours, it's a brand new hood, never been bolted to the truck, never been like shifted around to try to align it. I mean, just nothing. It's brand new, paintable. Although we can't get that hood dealt with, we can also take these mud flaps off the Chevy. So I'm gonna start it up and turn the wheel so we can get to those screws after I get the keys. We got one side done. It clears other than those mud flaps. Well, I got the mud flaps off and you can see up front, that's the clearance on a full lock. And then there's the inside clearance on a full lock on the opposite side. Other than Devin trimming a little bit of that valance up front, it clears on that six inch lift of those 35. And I had a lot of people asking about the build list for that truck, so I actually made a build list for that truck. I'll see if I can copy and paste it down in the description below here again. We did get the hood off. We did get the new hinges on, which by the way, check these out. They do look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I just wish that we could actually have, you know, put them to use today, but I guess we're just gonna have to order another one. It didn't take long for that hood to come in. It's just annoying that we have to order another one and sell the one that we got. And we did get in touch with somebody about doing interior work for the truck to do the seats for the truck. This is a good question. So for the interior of this truck, what should we do with the center console? I have in mind building a center console box and adding cup holders so that you can still use your manual and have a cup holder. Why? Well, because this, there's not even cup holders in it. Even if it did have them, those are absolutely useless and they're junk. So what I wanted to do was build a center console box that basically went back to where it is right now. But what it would do is cut this box about to here you see what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna need this back support as a seat anymore. I'd cut it about here, and then I'd go straight down, and then I'd have like two or three cup holders right there across the center, and then the box would go down even lower and carry on over to here so that it fits in the truck and maybe even have that guy do the leather work and do like a diamond stitch pattern on the top here 
with it like branded across the top, you know, second gen Longhorn or just, uh, you know, Longhorn or whatever. You see what I'm saying? And then uh, put like the LMP stamp with a diamond stitch pattern there. You guys let me know what you think. You wouldn't be using that seat, obviously. There would be no middle seat. It would just be, you know, it would basically be for aesthetics and, you know, more usability of the truck, having cup holders and stuff. But in the same sense, also, in a truck like this, if you have a grown person in the middle seat, you can't use your stick anyways, you know what I'm saying? Unless your legs are like way over here on the lap of the other person because that stick going up and down is gonna be slapping people in the knee. Let me know what I should do for that center box. Should I do that or keep the seat and have them upholster the seat leather as well? Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Do not forget to enter to win that Chevy 1500. Every $5 is five entries to win and that ends in four days. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.